I'm Athena. We're going to be talking about like why we started this podcast in, in the first place. Yeah. So I'm going to have to stop right here just for a brief trigger warning, but there will be some sensitive content mentioned briefly, so continue at your own risk. Actually, we uh, we weren't friends until... Um, well, it was a very sad incident, but uh, basically someone in our community, uh, he was riding his bike in the morning and he was run over. And we don't know the exact details of it, but um, that along with like me going to an in-person driving school uh, really taught me uh, like just how unaware people are of the dangers of driving. And I think um, I'm also an architecture student in high school, so I just think that you know, urban design and planning is also very important to facilitate these types of uh, interactions with pedestrians and cars. So um, that was my motivation. So what about you? I was also, I've also been very interested in like urban design, new urbanism, and like I've taken AP Human Geography and I was super excited about it because that kind of taught me a little bit about how humans interact with the world and like the history behind that, how like different zones of cities are separated and how like there are new developments in like in cities to just make them more sustainable and like I've biked on public roads before I I know how initially scary it is to bike on public roads and just this um this event that happened that really really shook me to my core and that really started a conversation like like how should we like moderate human behavior, how should we have our cities better designed to, I guess, make a city safer for everyone, even here now. Yeah, I think um, another thing to add to it is I also roller skate on the roads, and I think had I been driving as early as 16 or so, I've, I've just started driving and I'm a senior, um, had I been driving earlier, I would not be so aware of what happens around here, and um, just, like, when you actually experience it and you see, like, we're, we live in a fairly developed community, but when you actually see, like, how little attention is paid to these types of uh, people, uh, it just, like, you just want to somehow, like, spread awareness and get more people involved so uh, the cities can design better in the future. And also just about other uh, aspects of design that uh, help everyone feel more safe, even cars. Yeah, and what we want to do is Every episode, we, well, we're, yeah, we're very passionate about it as well. And every episode, we want to try and like just come up and or like try to, I guess, communicate some solutions to these kind of things um, that happen to essentially put it out there so to, I guess, spark change to because our the goal that we both have is sustainability. Our, the goal is that pedestrians, bicyclists, cars. And like businesses, um, industrial areas, residences, and stuff, we can all exist in the city in harmony. Like we can coexist in our cities. Cities around the world are intelligently designed like that. And so, some solutions that we can come up with, we can put out there to just, I guess, give people more of an idea to like spark that change, like to support, put their support behind an idea. Like even though you might feel like you're powerless uh, in yourself, like you can, ch uh, there are like certain behaviors that uh, we can all adopt uh, just to sort of mitigate uh, the possibilities of danger uh, given the circumstances of our city. We're all global citizens. We all live in the same place. So it is in our public interest, in our interest to make it better for all of us to live. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we hope you enjoy, and we hope you take some useful information out of this as well. That's right. Yeah. We'll see you later in our next episode of the Breakdown Podcast.